everyone. This is my current storage system for my um, nail stamping plates. It's uh, not the best, but it's all that's pretty much available. Bundle Monster has recently come out with um, a binder set, but it only holds the smaller plates. It doesn't hold all the plates that I have, and I would have to buy like three or four of them to hold um, all my plates, and then the different sizes wouldn't fit. So um, I recently have redone it. I used to have this with some of my Conad polishes. I try to keep my Conad polishes separate from my regular nail polishes just so there's no confusion and my daughter doesn't use them and then it won't dry as you guys know. So I just kind of have that stored here. This is just a regular Mead um, zippered, zippered three ring binder. These are the larger cheeky nail plates. What I have done, um, I don't really suggest this because unless you use maybe one plate, I have them double sided and I think that that is too heavy for just these little plastic sleeves. These are the regular page sleeves from Walmart from I think Avery and obviously it's already tearing up and I just did this a couple days ago so it's too heavy. Um, but what I've done is just um, put a piece of cardboard to make it stable, added some Velcro to the top so the plates wouldn't fall out, and then labeled them. Um, this is going to be a collection video and showing my storage. If there is any specific plates that you would like to see, please let me know and I can test them out for you. I'm going to quickly scan um, the plates that I have and show how I've got them organized, okay? So this is Cheeky Plate A. These are available on Amazon. Um, it, uh, I'll talk about them more in a minute. Let me, let me show Cheeky B. Cheeky Plate C. D. E. And I. I got this on Amazon, um, I believe, when the series first came out. Um, like last year, two years. It was it was a while ago that I bought these. It was a set of six for like $20, $17, something. It was pretty cheap. Um, it was when they first came out. Um, if you want full image, full, you know, full stamping images, these are a pretty good investment. Um, they are considerably more than I paid for them now. Um, I, I should have done a price comparison. I'll try to remember to price them and put the links below um, exactly how much they are now and where I got them. Um, how I have my, it's just the regular baseball card um, binder pages. And what I have done is separated them up into categories. I have Conad and Phonad, Bundle Monster, Red Angel, Shaney, Cheeky, Mash, and then some miscellaneous plates in the back. Um, these also, I have the I have a couple different kinds of fasteners and Velcro. These being my favorite, um, they're little. Um, three-eighths of an inch dots made by the velcro brand and it is perfect I know other people use um, anti-slip stuff but that made my pages really thick I wasn't able to get the uh, plates out in and out easily they would when you try to put the plates back in the paper the non-slip would like fold over and plus I have like 260 plates and I am NOT gonna cut out 260 squares on something that doesn't even work that well. Um, so the Velcro is a very good alternative. It is a little bit pricier, but like I got these at Joann's and um, they are 50% off the Notions wall right now. It was $3.99 for like a pack of 56. So um, with it 50% off, that would make it $2. So that's a very good deal and a lot easier. And as you can see, they're not falling out. You know, they're not they're not going anywhere with the velcro closure um, <clears throat> so I'm just gonna start scanning the plates now um, 
so you can see kind of up close what the plates look like. These are my Conad and Phonad. Some of them are Conad, some of them are replicas of the Conad plates, but they look exactly like the Conad plates. And stamp almost as good of quality. Um, I just and kind of I have a kind of aversion to playing five to six dollars for a plate. Um, and I found a good deal on some copies, so I just picked up a couple of those that I wanted. Um, okay, so no more talking. Here we go. This is plate S6. This is plate M2. M3. M9. S10. M11, M13, M14, M23, M30, M31, M33, M34, M35, M36, M40, M44, M55, M56, M66, M80. Next is going to be the Bundle Monster. Um, overall, I like the Bundle Monster. Um, this is the first set. I got them a little later. Um, but the quality on the Bundle Monster, I would say if you want a, a consistent stamping set that is reasonably priced in a good variety, I would say go with any of the Bundle Monster. Um, they are, in my opinion, they are comparable to Conad and um, I, I prefer, Bundle Monster is probably my favorite Unconad brand. So, without further ado, let's just get into them. This is BM1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, Nine. BM ten. <clears throat> Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. What, baby? Sixteen. Seventeen. Eighteen. What hurts, buddy? 19, 20, 21, and that's the end of the first set. Um, the milkiness that you see, sometimes when I use different fingernail polish remover, it'll leave this milkiness on it, but the plate is clean. It's just some kind of residue. Um, another thing I would like to mention about the first set of Bundle Monster. I hurt my finger. Baby, your finger is okay, buddy. I gave it kisses. Um, the first set, the images are very small. I mean, I have tiny nails, and as you can see, they're very, very small, barely wide enough for my little baby carrot fingers. Okay, this is the second set, and the images are larger. BM201, 202, 203, 204. 205, 206, 207-208-209-210-211-212-213-214 215, 216, 217, 
218, 219, 220, 221, 222, 223, 224. Buddy, your finger is fine. 225. 226, or I'm sorry, no. 225 is the end of the second set, and this is the beginning of the third set, DM301. 302, 303, 304, 305, 310, 319, 320, 321, 322, 323, 324, and 325. That's the end of the Bundle Monster. On to Red Angel. The Red Angel, um, I don't know if they have changed them, but when I purchased these, the um, plates are kind of shallow and are a little bit finicky. You can get them to work. Um, again, I bought them for a very reasonable price, so I wasn't too upset that they weren't perfect. I don't know if they've changed them, but um, here we go looking at each plate. <clears throat> RA-101, 102, 103. Ooh, I didn't clean that one, did I? 104, 105, 106, 107, 108, 109, 110, 111, 112, 113, 114, 115, 116, 117, 118, 119, 120, 121. Not right now, though. These are the Shaney plates. Um, I have a video doing a review on them. They are pretty decent and reasonably priced. Um, SH01, 02, 03, 04, 05, 06, 07, 08, 09. Bella, sweetie, you're fine. SH10, 11, 12, 13, call and stop, 14, go back outside and play, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Next I have the mash plates. Um, I think they have another set before this set. Um, I don't have it. Um, the mash plates that I have stamp very well. They're reasonably priced and um, you know I have no complaints about them. Um, I don't recall any finicky plates. Um, 26, mash number 26, 
27. Cheeky plates. I have both sets of those. Um, the first set of cheeky plates is finicky. Um, it needs a thinner polish, and I will say it about the second set of cheeky plates as well. Um, I do want to note that the second set of cheeky plates is much larger than the first set. Um, they do have a reprints on their website, and I don't know if they changed the shapes, but they changed the back and the packaging. Um, the cheeky set but from the first set, cheeky number one, number two, number three, number four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and this is not my um, miscounting, this is just how they came, 17 and then it jumps to 20, I don't know why. Um, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. It skips from 27 to 29. I don't know why. Um, 29. <clears throat> and this is the second set of cheeky plates. As you can tell, they are larger than the other plates and are larger than the Conad or other um, nail stamping plates. So this is CH30. CH31. CH32. CH 33, 42 43 44 45 46 47 48 49 50 51, 52, 53, 54, 55. 
And these are miscellaneous plates that I bought off eBay. Um, I wouldn't recommend buying these. They were something like, um, I, I bought these a couple years ago and it was like a bulk of a certain amount of plates for like $9.99. Um, and this, these square ones are okay, but the designs aren't very original and a lot of times the designs repeat on two different numbered plates. As you can tell, this is supposed to be a full nail image and it's ridiculously small. So I don't recommend buying the bulk um, sets off eBay. But, you know, you can if you want to. Um, like I said, these are from a couple years ago. Um, this is from the brand, I think it's like K-N-O-G-N-C-K, I don't know, A-B-C-D. And then the ones back here that are around are like Nokomis or something like that. The Nokomis ones aren't very good. Um, I, I just wouldn't recommend these. There are some newer ones that are coming out. I don't know how good they are. Like I said, I bought these a couple years ago. So I'm just, I'm not even going to read the numbers. I don't have them labeled or anything. I just have them kind of thrown in here. Um, but I'll kind of scan them real quick, I guess, just in case. I do have the one that's Hello Kitty. And these are the, they're like, I like the size of these rectangle ones because I think they're pretty convenient for um, the baseball card packs. I just prefer like square rectangle shapes. And uh, this one has a pretty cool dragon on it. But um, other than that, you know, they're kind of hit or miss on whether they're gonna work. The images are pretty small. You know, here, this barely would cover my finger and I have teeny tiny fingers. So, um, kind of like, I, if I was you, I, I would kind of avoid those multi sets on eBay. Like, especially these, they are, in my opinion, I mean, I'm not going to use what I would normally, I mean, I don't know, they're kind of crappy, I guess. That's, that's the bottom line. Maybe somebody else thinks they're not that crappy, or maybe someone else can get them to work, and that's great. But, um, the, in, in my opinion, they're just much better plates you can get for, you know, around the same amount of money. So, um, you can see how I, these are the larger round dots of Velcro, and I have, um, cut them in half, but you can see from me turning them over and shaking, 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 okay, one fell out, but I was shaking it pretty hard, <laughs> and it didn't even, it fell out because it's, I broke it on the side, not even from the Velcro. But the Velcro will keep these in place much better than the, um, the non-slip sheets will. I have quite a few plates. Um, the only thing is these three ring binders. Sometimes if you get them too full, they will open and let everything out of one hole. Um, I mean, like I said, this I, I recommend getting a, a, I don't know, it depends on how much money you want to spend. Um, I would recommend if you were going to go this method, use Velcro and buy the um, higher quality uh, baseball card sheets. I bought the cheaper quality and they're really floppy. They have some that are better quality and they're not so floppy. Um, again, out of all the different kinds of... Um, this is a small ring binder. I would suggest buying a larger ring binder if you're going to use a lot like I have. Um, I just don't want to spend any more on, on, you know, on the storage of the plate. Um, I just don't want to put anything else into it. You know what I'm saying? But if I was going to start over, I would buy a larger binder and I would buy um, more quality, the higher quality baseball card but I would definitely keep and buy only these um, Velcro because as you can tell they're little they're about the size of a small fingernail I think they're three-eighths of an inch or something like that or maybe even less than that they close really easy they're just in they're secure I mean I'm shaking that pretty hard and they're not coming out. Um, I labeled them just so I would know if one was missing. If I'm, um, 
doing someone nails and you know god forbid someone walks off with them i know exactly what would you know which one would be missing at a glance I also know if um, my daughter gets into them, which ones are missing. And on instances like the cheeky that are um, numbered really weird, I'm not going to be freaking out thinking I lost some when they're just labeled, label, um, blah, blah, numbered oddly. So that's how I keep mine. That's what I have. Um, if you have any questions, you can contact me, message me, or comment below. Um, I hope that was helpful to someone. Um, if you're just starting out, again, like I said, probably the ones that I had the highest recommendation for are the Bundle Monster. Um, the Mash are good. The Shaney are pretty good. The Cheeky, some are finicky. Um, but again, I, I, you know, it's up to you. Do you want quantity? Do you want quality? Do you want um, just variety? Um, I can help you make a decision on that. I'm not endorsed by any of these companies. This is just my personal collection that I bought with my own money, blah, 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 blah. So, um, I hope, see again, like all the, I have to go through, see how many of these fell out? Dun, dun, dun. It's not a perfect system, but it's what works best for me so far. Um, all right, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask, and I think that's it. Bye.